welcome. We're coming to you tonight from the wonderful city of Kolkata and we're in this uh, fantastic space which is a, an eclectic, cutting-edge uh, contemporary art gallery. It's the Seema Art Gallery. It's a well-known landmark here in Kolkata and we're joined tonight by a group of people who can uh, probably be described as proud Bengalis or certainly hardcore Kolkatans from all spheres of life and we're hoping today to make um, use the serene background to have a civilized discussion on a controversial topic and hopefully everybody can make their points heard but also allow other people to speak. Barely a month after the Gorkha land agitation, Bengal is again in tension and unrest. We've had a communal riot, a small communal riot in Bashirhat, which has left one person dead, several dozens wounded. It's left a trail of devastation and destruction of public and private property, and it's left many unanswered questions. Over the past few months, Bengal has intermittently seen such communal flare-ups, leading to the question of whether the GD of communal polarization is now out of the bottle. And so tonight we're asking, is the state turning into a communal tinderbox and who will douse the flames? We have, like I said, many Kolkathans, but we also, let me just point out to take some of them by name, we have Dr. Indranil Khan, who is a BJP supporter, and he's going to be speaking for the BJP. We have Professor Ananya Chakravarti, who is uh, similarly a TMC supporter, Jedi Majumdar of the Suraja magazine, uh, Devan Chaudhary, who is an author and columnist, and Mudar Patheria, who is a social activist. Thank you all and all of you for taking time out uh, to join us on this show. So, Ananya, let's just get straight down to it. The, the BJP says that Mamta Banerjee and the TMC is partisan mm -hmm. and you are appeasing the minority community, the Muslim community, and this has been her come up. So let's just get straight to it. Yeah. It is the hallmark of any democracy that uh, you take care of the minorities. Wherever you look at any country in this world, I mean, why do, are we so critical about Trump? Because he is so anti-minority. So it is the hallmark of any civilized democracy that you take care of the minorities. And, uh, and I'm very proud of the fact that uh, the minorities in Bengal are safe. Here you can talk about beef, about cow, without being scared, you know. You know, one is beaten up here for, uh, you know, for, uh, for the suspicion of uh, ferrying a cow and so on. But that does not mean that she's not taking care of the entire state. Because if the entire state did not vote for her, she could not have come back to power with such a huge majority. So obviously it's... Uh, BJP is BJP, their only, you know, their only uh, agenda is polarization, their only agenda is communalism. So they are saying what they have to say and they know that this is the last bastion, the strongest bastion which they have not been able to, you know, they haven't been able to break. So they are doing everything possible to turn Bengal into a communal state. But I'm very proud of the people of Bengal that they are resisting it and I'm very, very proud of the media, especially local media, and also a large number of national channels, excepting one or two, who have not allowed this to be, become a communal, you know, communal. I'm glad thing. you're uh, complimenting the media because in the beginning, I think after Malda, for example, Mamta Banerjee totally ran down the media. But anyway, so explain to us then why is this happening? Malda, Kalyachak, uh, West Midnapur, you name it, one after the other. I think we've had about seven instances of small, minor communal disharmony over the past 18 months. So then what does this mean? On one hand, you can blame the BJP for instigating this, but then does this just mean that the state government has no control over the police? Or there's no political, um, there's no reason for the government to clamp down on them because law and order is uh, the state. Of course it is. And I mean, the way some, uh, uh, some media is, you know, painting uh, the state, it looks as if, you know, there's a riot going, at, going yeah. on at every corner. I mean, we all are from Bengal. I don't see any such communal tension. I, you know, I mean, we live together in harmony. There, I'm sure there are people from many communities sitting here, and there is no problem here. And yes, there are problems everywhere. There is no problem in Gujarat. There is no problem in UP. There is no problem in Bihar. Let's talk about those problems, you know. And those problems are very, very serious problems. Uh, and, and yeah, of course. Like if okay. I may just add a point or two, yeah. okay, okay, after that. Okay, in the real, so... We saw such instances of communal disharmony in the run-up to the Assam elections. Ditto in UP earlier this year in 2017. So some would say 
that this is a pattern. Mm -hmm. And you have the panchayat elections coming up mm -hmm. next year. And then after that, you will have the parliamentary elections the year after that. And the only party that really stands to gain by these communal incidents is the BJP. First of all, the topic today is regarding West Bengal. So, UP and Assam, those are different instances that can be taken no, later no. on. What people are saying is there is a connection. People that is my question. That. People no, are no. not saying that. The, just the uh, ruling TMC, they are just So, you are saying there is no the, connection? They are just trying to... Are you saying there is no connection? Firstly, when a communal... To the fact that before an election, communal, there are when a communal instances tension of communal arises, riots that are taking place in the major is, states that are going in for an election. Thing is, when a communal tension is happening, it is the duty of the state government to douse the fire. Okay. Absolutely, and, and I just yes. asked uh, Nanya that. Yes, and it, but we have seen the role of the state. We have seen Mamta Banerjee openly saying that I am trying to protect you all. Then why are you doing all this? She has stated this in a it press won't. conference. She only herself stated that, and that means that she is saying that I am trying to protect something. I am protecting uh, some hooliganism or this thing. It's not just that the entire Muslim community is doing something. There is a section. There are some antisocials within uh, who are trying to stoke this communal tension and that is being backed up by the ruling party. If no action is taken against them, you will see different parts of West Bengal, including in our city Kolkata. There will be people who will be tripling or quadrupling in bikes and the police are paying a blind to, uh, attention to that. They know that we can't, be, uh, we can't book them. You can ask the police, they say, Dada, ekhane isab cholvena. Ekhane apni onno jayge jan, ekhane they instead blame us. Why are you saying all this? No, so you're saying these are anti-social elements, this has nothing to do with religion or community? No, what, there are different anti-social elements and when it belongs to a particular community or when that community is there in more numbers, there is a tendency of the state government. The community is not to be blamed for this. There is a tendency of the ruling party to protect them. Okay, are oto ei. This thing needs to be taken strongly. Else, we have seen a train of Dhulagar, Boshirhat. We have seen Chanchal. I have seen uh, Dr. Okay, who was then respond to Ananya. She is saying, respond to Ananya. If the Hindus of Bengal are so outraged, as she points out, why did they vote Mamta Banerjee back with like a huge mandate? I think she got 211 out of 293 seats. Yes, definitely. 70% Hindus that in was, Bengal. That was in 2016. Correct. And you will see the large number of riots, those are happening. Those are happening much later than it was stoked by some particular policies. It was, it happened after the Durga, after the Bijaya Dashami and the Moharam coinciding. We have seen the government saying don't immerse the Durga idol on the day of the Vijaya Dashami. However, the High Court uh, took a strong step in it and gave an exemption. That needs to be stopped. The government is openly trying to prevent someone from practicing their own religious practices. This needs to be stopped. And this is the trend that is going to uh, anger a particular community. If they are in the, in the majority community also. A section of them are getting angry. So they've done a ruler not just must be just, but must also be seen to be just. So the BJP claims that Mamta Banerjee has a soft spot or a softer spot for whatever reasons, for a vote bank reasons, for a certain community. You just heard Dr. Khan. Is there really a majority, majoritarian insecurity? Majority insecurity? There is, there, there is none in Bengal. There is uh, only the in, uh, insecurity lies within the BJP leader's speeches and the fake news which they spread around. You know, their, their, their narrative about Bengal, just talking about Bengal is, Hindus are in danger, Hindus are in danger, Bangladeshi Muslims are going to turn uh, Bengal into uh, Islamic State. So basically only BJP can come and save Bengal. And what do they do to save Bengal? They incite riots. So this is the idea of saving Bengal, how to incite riots. Okay, and one thing they don't understand is Bengali culture is not as simple as Hindu Muslim, okay. Bengali, they are Bengali Muslims, they are Bengali Christians, they are Bengali Hindus. And the Bengal culture is shared both by Bangladesh and by Bengal, even though the majority religion are both uh, like different. So culturally, Bengal has a culture of its own. So you can't suddenly come here and try to divide people on communal terms that you are a Hindu, this is a Muslim, our Hindus are in danger, Hindus khatre mein hai. I think India is in khatre because of BJP and Bengal is in khatre because of BJP. This is a total propaganda, nothing else than that. All right, but talking about Bengali culture, don't you think... I'd like to interject 
Yeah. Okay, respond. Yeah. You should respond. Yes, that uh, do you think Kartik Ghosh died for no reason? He was killed by BJP people. See, we are against any kind of violence in the state. We don't want so any kind of violence. So nothing is happening See, then, why, just why like is that the violence suddenly death? happening for the last 18 months? Ever since RSS have started, 1500 shakas in, in Bengal which so, they never has to happen. So, they so, started, the, question, so they the question is, why has violence been happening over the past 18 months? 18 but months. also, why has violence not been able to be curbed by the government when the law and order comes under no, them? That is not true. That is that absolutely is, untrue. That is not true that the uh, <laughs> government... Uh, uh, they played an exemplary role in Bushihar, uh, the way they curbed yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But, and they, I mean, it I think, sounds I think as if then political resolve is yeah. missing here. No, uh, no, no, there is, there is no, there is no there is uh, lack of political resolve. In fact, the political resolve was so strong that she did not allow any political party to go in, including the Trinamool. Yeah. Including the central forces. It is an administrative matter. Yeah. It must the be, were also it high. must be yeah. dealt yeah. with okay. administratively. And the riot did yes, not spread or escalate. Yes, the center is very keen to send ad, uh, the central forces to Boshir, but not, not to Darjeeling. Yeah. You see, no, they are very selective where they want the riot to spread and where they do not want the riot to spread. The idea of the BJP is Why to find him to dead, dead bodies in Bengal. So yeah. that is right. how they're going to do right. the politics. Joy, so, but but now, this is Joy, the idea. talking and about the central there. forces, yeah. this has certainly become extremely yeah. politicized. We yeah. had this ugly brawl between uh, the chief minister and the governor of the state, who is, of course, a former BJP leader. Yeah. Correct? So both sides, neither side is coming out smelling of roses. Absolutely. I won't go into, I mean, this is a very small uh, aside to the whole thing. Okay. But if I, if I were to respond to everyone, I don't think the BJP had any hand in the, in, in Boshirhat. Okay. They didn't have any hand in uh, uh, Kalia Chow. How did it happen? If we go, if we see what happened, there was a Facebook post, atrocious, condemnable, Everything right? by a minor boy. A Facebook post. They, 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 uh, there was a case of a fake news which was published after Eid, you know, in, in a Sanghi paper in Bengali in Boshirat, which showed a Islamic flag as Pakistani flag and blamed the Bengali Muslims ha, as but, pro, but, but pro but Pakistani happened, and anti India. But what okay, happened let's, exactly let's, let's that day? What, yeah. what exactly yeah. happened that yeah. day was there were mobs which were uh, which had gone berserk and they attacked uh, houses belonging to a particular community, etc. Okay, that is exactly as as the, these are the facts of the case. The BJP didn't have any hand in this. Number one, number two. I will go exactly uh, two days ago what Amartya Sen said. Hmm. Sen said that there is a perceived sense of appeasement, which is happening here. A perceived sense. I will disagree with him that it is perceived. It is not perceived. It is actually there. Why? Because of electoral math, math, mathematics. You talked about uh, how uh, she won by such a huge uh, majority. Fine. How, much, how many percentage of votes does it take to win elections in India, in, in, under our system? The same goes for the BJP. First, same goes how much absolutely, percentage of votes? Absolutely, 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 absolutely. We are talking, we are talking, about, we are talking about Bengal now. We are talking about Bengal now. We are talking about... So, so, so 28%, 28% yeah. if they vote on block, right? You'd get another ten percent easily, so you are you win or the you win yeah, majority so of the states. Success, but she could have gotten two eleven out of two ninety three if the Hindus didn't vote for yeah. her. No, and no, no, no. I'm not saying Hindus all the Hindus the will not vote for her. Of course, Muslims. they will vote for her. Of course, yeah. they will vote for her. Right, and the and the ecosystem which has been created, the system of favors to clubs and all these sort of things. They will definitely vote for her for their own and with okay, so you the economy. Say, Jordi, absolutely you say that the BJP is not responsible for what happened so, to no. Bashira. But what happened? But what happened? For example, the BJP MLA H Raja Singh, he waded into the controversy after it happened. Let's assume what you're saying is right. They weren't responsible for what happened. He said that the Hindu community in the state should respond the way the Hindus reacted in 2002. So would you say the BJP is at least responsible for what's happening after that? No. See, these are stray statements. I don't think we need to take cognizance stray, of stray, 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 stray posts. Stray Nupur Sharma is sharing a fake, yeah. fake photograph. No, 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 that's not. Right. Those, those are only stray. Those are only aside. It doesn't matter. These are not stray. What, what Nupur? Uh, fringe what Nupur? How many of the real photos were yeah, shared yeah. by you? Yeah. How many of the real photos and videos we have seen in the and video? Go, audience, go back out of West Bengal. I, I, go, I, I, out I, do you, and, and let me tell you one thing. Of the Godra riots as Bengal riots. You became Bengal by showing that. Very interestingly, right. very interestingly, right. you. Let, let's talk it's about one thing out here. Let's talk about. I'll, I'll just, about, I'll just make a small to, point. Let's talk about uh, yeah, social media. Just a right? small point out here. Changed the way we all live our lives. It's given us access to the whole world. It allows us to 
share your everyday life with the world and spread information really fast and that advantage is now also being made into a disadvantage by um, people who want to create mobs who want to spread terror and uh, fake news and the rumors and, and rise right we've seen this whether it was in the kashmir valley whether it's in muzaffarnagar we've seen this now in bashir hat also so Mr. Khan, I want to ask you and I want to ask Joydeep. As they mentioned, you have the case of Tarun Sen Gupta. Nupur Sharma, of course, is a spokesperson for the party. Tarun Sen Gupta is the Secretary of the State BJP IT cell. That's he not just. The Secretary of the State BJP IT cell. You can go through his of uh, website. Yeah, he's now, was he ever. He has seen Babul Shukriyo, who is the local MP. He has actually said that he is yeah. not in charge of the IT cell of his district. He doesn't even. But he's a BJP member. There are different, you have uh, visiting wow, all BJP. You are not denying him yeah. as a BJP person. Listen, listen. Yeah. BJP is the largest political party in the world. Okay? In the and world? So there oh are so many pros <laughs> <laughs> You can't. Not in the galaxy. Among the aliens. Let him finish. You can't yeah. people out yeah. in the other parts of the galaxy. Yeah, you are 50% of the most welcome. All right, let him finish. You are most welcome. And only for us, let him finish. Let him finish. Speaking of social media, yeah. Yeah, but you will see that there are also a large section of the mainstream media who have been constantly who have been constantly portraying videos of people yeah. of some mob lynching and attributing religion to it. You shouldn't attribute religion to terrorism, nor should you attribute religion to all this mob lynching and other incidents. You are playing that in repeat mode all, all right. the time. All right. So, yeah. all, all right. right. All right. Indrani. Right. Right. All right. Indrani. Right. One second. Indrani. Indrani. You are saying. Indrani. Hear me out. All right. Indrani. We are saying. Why are all these videos playing? You why? These are all inciting us. That's the question. That's what. That's the question. That's the role. That's the role of the media. But Indrani. Indrani. Not hold on, let's not, hold on, listen, story. everybody loves to blame the media, but before the media comes into the story, somebody first has posted it on social media. So let's go to that person first. Please respond. You say that Tarun Sen Gupta is not uh, the secretary of the BJP IT cell. All right, let me give you benefit of doubt. I don't want to get into an argument about that. What about Nupur Sharma? She's a BJP yes. spokesperson, right? She posted a photograph of a burning vehicle taken in Gujarat 15 years ago. Of course, the I irony see. is not lost on yeah, anyone that was she, Gujarat she went to call under the uh, chief uh, minister. So then now the prime minister. She wanted to she call was people. There are people may make mistakes of a photos. Someone has said. Not a someone has posted. Let him finish. Let him finish. Each and every photos. What do you mean? Even, you, know, you are even, showing as a liar. You are a poster. Same you thing or liar. You have to put and a. And if she made a mistake, picture. she immediately deleted that also. Truth, because she, she shouted. Yes, we also told her that is is yeah. shared a wrong image. Yeah. If right. one has accidentally shared a wrong image. Accidentally. Yes. So in the name, in the name. to humans. It in the name, so people are. make mistakes. I, I, I think it was very calculated, very extremely calculated. motivated. It I was weird at engineering so, riots in Bengal, where they are desperate to get it. Have you seen the having seen the that that particular poster asking people to go for that rally, to, uh, save Bengal rally? I think she could have shared an image of uh, vehicles burning in Bengal right. also. It would have been all the same. No, no, no. So Why did Bing she? Vehicles so burning in, uh, in Gujarat Bengal, and so vehicles cannot, burning in Bengal are, 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 are all the same. It was just, I think it was a... You can't do I that. think it was a... Sorry. All right, so panelists disagree and some people think that posting an image you, you have seen Derek happened by mistake. Wrong, all right, wrong image. let's get, let's get some reactions from the audience. Why do you think people post these images? Do you think it was a genuine mistake or is it the fact that once it's out there, the damage is already done? Yeah, so even if you give uh, an explanation or even if you give an apology, which is rare from any politician across all parties, um, the damage is already done. Let's get some reactions. I just want to point out the fact that the political socialization of uh, the political socialization of Bengal has uh, post 2014 election we can see communal colors like and this has been ignited by the political party. I just want to say that maybe like only these. Facebook, what she has said, could not actually ignite the people. The economic growth uh, is also an important factor, and I'd like to say that the state government or maybe they are not putting much effort in the economic process, and it's uh, said that it's a momentum economy, and like, I would like to say that economy might be a big risk. Can I, can I respond to that, please? All right. So this should be responded right. to. You re go ahead, respond, Ananya, and pass yeah. the mic on. Okay, uh, I just want to say that anywhere you see where there is a burgeoning economy, you see it in Bangalore, you see it in Bombay. Whenever there is a burgeoning economy, the right-wing forces rise. Why? Because, say, as an IT sector, 
you know, a lot of outsiders come in to work there, and so the local people do not necessarily get jobs, which is why there are right-wing forces which rise, and they say, no, only the local people must get a job. So there is a different kind of polarization but that is, happens. Is Why is the local people getting jobs? Yes. Local yes. people are migrating to Bangalore to so, Chennai. No, no, you're not getting my point. Friends please, please, please the use your, your gray cells. You're not understanding my point. Yeah, they have, gone. Says they have they gone for jobs to fill their stomachs. They have to run their families. Uh, they are uh, not getting jobs here. So is this the burgeoning economy or not? No, what I'm saying is that in Bengal, of course, is not a burgeoning economy at the moment, but doesn't mean that you know it's going downhill. Not at all. It is. It is there. However, uh, however, whenever you have a burgeoning economy like you know the IT sector, you know you see the rise of the IT sector in Bangalore. You see it in in, in Maharashtra. There's a huge. So you're burden. saying outsiders are involved, and they Absolutely. are what's pushing it. Yes. Go ahead, sir. Make your statement quickly. Yeah, outsiders as in Bangladeshis, I would say. No, no, no. My Not goodness. at all. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, it's okay. You know, you can make these asides as a BJP supporter. But the truth is, what I said that economic factors, Please. as he said, it's true that economic factors but play a role only when the local Please people are not like like you know you find the Shiv Sena in Mumbai. They're so strong because they are fighting for the local Bombayites. And uh, okay, go ahead, sir. Since 2014, we've seen a trend. Rather, 2013 Muzaffar Nagar riot. We've seen a trend growing trend of BJP polarizing and the way they've done it. If this continues today, earlier there was mob violence which took uh, place in Gujarat, then it came to uh, Muzaffar Nagar, now in Bashir Hart, it is going to continue, continue and continue. If mob violence and vigilantes continue, we are creating a Frankenstein. Yes. And if you cannot curb it today, it is, and they are growing at a very alarming rate, and if you do not curb them right now, what happens to India after 10 years? All right, so that's a good note. Let's say that's a good note to end. But I want to go across. I want to go across to uh, Mr. Haji Bhutto. He's a resident of Bashira, so he joins us. Uh, he's also the convener of the Joint Peace Committee. So he's come here from Bashira. So let's speak to him because he's the only one who's actually been there. Bhutto ji, thank you. Ab aaye ho. The violence has died down. Ye jo atyachar aur sab kuch jo ho raha tha, wahan pe wo to band ho gayi. Magar shanti has peace returned? Shanti aa gayi bas? Abi abi bahut shanti hai ham log. Ham log sab milke ek jo ek saath shanti aa gaya aur bhi koshish kar raha hu. Jaldi jaldi do ek din ka andar pura khatam ho jayega. Ham log nahi chahte hai jamanat jaise hamla ho raha hai. Kashmir mein jo hamla ho raha hai. Bharat mein jitna jagah mein India mein बहुत जगह में झमेला अभी रिसेंट बंगाल में फिर एक दार्जिलिंग में भी हो रहा है कल रायगंज में भी, भी हो रहा है थोड़ा बहुत लेकिन ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए हम लोग का इधर में थोड़ा बहुत गलती हो रहा है क्या गलती मेरा ख्याल से हो रहा है थोड़ा जो हम लोग का चीफ मिनिस्टर है ममता जी थोड़ा बहुत आदमी लोग का ऊपर ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा भरोसा करता है क्यों थोड़ा बहुत एक जात की क्योंकि वो थोड़ा मुसलमान का थोड़ा ईमानदारी करता है बट अनन्या जी जो अनन्या जी कह रही है कि हाँ। अगर एक स्टेट में 27 परसेंट अगर एक माइनॉरिटी है तो उनको तो देखना तो पड़ेगा ना चीफ मिनिस्टर का रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है वो तो करना पड़ेगा और ये और ये भी ये कहती है कि इंडिया में शायद एक स्टेट है अभी जहाँ पे जैसे मुस्लिम लोगों को डर में नहीं रहना ये ये कह रही है अनन्या जी कह रही है कि मुस्लिम लोगों को डर नहीं नहीं डरना है क्योंकि उनका जान पे कोई लाइक दे नॉट वर्ड अबाउट इट नहीं कुछ नहीं हो रहा है हम लोग का इधर हम लोग बहुत शांति में है शांति में था थोड़ा एक छोटा सा हमारा सामने में हुआ है हम पूरा उसको बंद कर दिया उधर में एक कांग्रेस पार्टी है वो उसको बंद करने के लिए आया हम लोग उस टाइम पूरा बंद कर दिया ये ऐसे नहीं होगा वो उस उस दिन उल्टा रट चलता था हम लोग को उधर में हिंदू लोग भी मेरा घर में आता है हम लोग भी उधर में जाते हैं उसका जब कोई कोई अनुष्ठान होता है पूजा में है महरम में है हम लोग भी उधर आता है ईद में है दुर्गा पूजा में दुर्गा पूजा तो बंगाल का बहुत फेमस है बशीर हाट सर आप कह रहे हो कि शांति है शांति है तो फिर ये कैसे ये हुआ कैसे फिर ये हुआ है बोल रहे ना थोड़ा बहुत हम है थोड़ा एक ऑटो का ड्राइवर हमारा ऊपर दे दिया दस चक्का गाड़ी चलाओ गाड़ी कैसे चलेगा 
पार्टी तो हो जाएगा Thank you so much for joining us. Bye bye.